Joy to be with you on this Wednesday here of the Word of Encouragement. And as I mentioned yesterday, this is the week of our Victory Conference. And what a blessing. Our theme is Rise Up, Overcoming Passivity, Activating Reality, the reality of who God is and who you are in Christ and what God can do through you. And we're praying that God will work. If you're not able to be here, I would encourage you to look online and uh, be a part of the conference. Let God do a transforming work in your life. And we certainly would appreciate your prayers. Today, I'd like to go to Matthew chapter 9. You know, sometimes we just need to be encouraged about how great our Savior is. In uh, the middle part of the chapter, it speaks of the tremendous storm on the Sea of Galilee. And those were tremendous storms, uh, almost like on an ocean, even though it's just a lake. And they were very much fearful. And they marveled when he said, peace be still. And uh, they said, what manner of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? But what is even more encouraging is what happens when he goes to the other side of the Sea of Galilee over on the east side in the uh, country of the Gergesenes. And uh, he met uh, two possessed with devils. And one man in particular, we find, was possessed with a multitude of demons. And um, they were exceeding fierce, uh, these men were, because of a tremendous demonic presence. It was affecting that entire area. And so when Jesus comes to these men, they cry out, what are we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to, to torment us before the time? And uh, the story here, of course, is the Lord rebuked those demons, and they went into a herd of swine, and they went down into the sea. But what I want to encourage you with is here Christ faced a legion. Uh, I don't know how many there were, but it was a huge group. Maybe it could have been a hundred demons, all concentrated in one area. And just the word of the Savior caused them to have to leave those men. And, uh, and they were sent into a herd of swine. It's an amazing thing. And my friends, sometimes we just sense that the opposition is so great. We just look around us and see Satan's coordinating of the world, the international affairs, our national situation, and it seems so overpowering. But all that Jesus has to do is rebuke Satan and his demonic powers, and they have to flee. You see, he has crushed Satan's head at the cross. Satan still controls this world of unregenerate people, but Christ is a victor at the right hand of the Father as the second Adam. And so we need to be encouraged that though things seem so overwhelming and you sense the multitudes of demonic uh, powers that are influencing the world and it's going the wrong way away from the word of God, we need to realize that God is able to stop that. He's going to win the victory and he can win the victory in our situation and we can pray for victories around the world. In fact, I want to again remind you, more people are being saved now, I believe, around the world than have been saved in the history of the world. And so we need to be very encouraged, and we are on the victory side. So let's remember, at Jesus' word, we can have victory.